Stay sharp, my brothers. This article was recently shared on r slash economy, so the Reddit site for economy. I'm not gonna say this word on YouTube, but I think it's interesting to look more into this mega trend and potentially see if there's a way to make a lot of money as an investor. But how profitable is this site really? Let's take a closer look at the actual financial statement that this article references, because I don't think that the journalist covering it really takes up all the relevant stuff. That's why we will go directly to the source material, because this company, Phoenix International Limited, is not listed on the stock exchange. This is a private company. Right. If we take a look at gov.uk, we can see that it's a private limited company. Yet, they have to disclose information for tax purposes. And that's why we can take a closer look at the numbers behind this industry and really understand the profit margin, what's growing, what's not growing, how are the current growth rates in certain terms. There's a lot of meat to be found in this statement. And after that, stay sharp, we will do a call to action as well within this industry to discuss this further, to explore this further and to conduct proper due diligence and market research. All right, in terms of total numbers of creators, we can see that the growth rate is faster than the total number of fans. And we can only speculate as the impact of AI generated creators will be able to push this number even further. So we're in for an interesting time period indeed. How will this affect profitability? How will this affect competition? Extremely hard to know. Although if we look on page 15, we can see that there's interesting numbers to be found in this business. We can call it the loneliness economy. And indeed, people are making big bucks. Here we go. Page 15, 5.5 billion in site-wide revenue. The company takes a 20% cut on this revenue. So that's what we have here in the bottom line, all right? And then in terms of pure profitability, it's not super expensive just to run the servers, to have some administrative, etc. We see that 400 million is the take home from last year for Phoenix International. The founder of this company is basically printing a ton of money. And in terms of tax, expense we can see 121 million is going to the uk to fund social stuff but we see a huge profit margin remember revenue a billion this is about 40 percent profit margin just quickly calculated crazy these are software company numbers indeed and remember, they're only taking a 20% cut of the site-wide revenue. And we can look at some of these net current assets as well. We have the balance sheet, etc. But that's not really interesting. The interesting part here is the income statement. These are crazy good numbers for a private company. Potentially... A company like this could be listed on the stock exchange. They would receive potentially a very high valuation. Although I think that a lot of funds will steer clear of this and not buy in. There's extremely specific risks in this case. Risks that I can't discuss on YouTube. But potentially somebody signs up that shouldn't sign up. And let's leave it at that. But in this case, this is something I think institutions will stay clear of. And this creates opportunity for retail investors in this space. I think we're going to see 
a lot of similar companies filling this entertainment void, so to say, in the economy. And we see already AI-generated chatbots that are there to chat to people. I've seen creators talk about this being advertised on YouTube, for example, and on Instagram. So this loneliness economy is absolutely booming. Some of these companies will be listed on the stock exchange. We see right now preliminary data from reportings, as they must do you know, to tax purposes, and we see great profit margins. So this, unfortunately, is a global megatrend right now. We see tons of lonely men spending money on this type of entertainment. And I think that there's going to be more player. I think there's going to be great profit margins. I think it's going to be an industry where funds will stay clear. And I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities as a result of that. And in terms of call to action, this is an extremely obstacle filled area. It's not something that I personally want to do research on. I don't want to look at these products, see what is good and what is not good, but leave a comment in the comment section below if you think that one company is standing out for the competition doing something different having a better user experience etc these are things that are important when looking at investing into a company this is important in understanding who will grow fastest and gain the most market share and in terms of potential stock market listings understand what player has the highest percentage chance of success. So success meaning making the most money for investors. All right, it's an interesting time. We're discussing the loneliness economy. As always, hope you guys make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye-bye.